This Sweet 16 game was more sour than sweet, but number three, UConn holds on to beat number seven seed Duke 53-45, despite nearly coughing up a 20-point lead at the very end of the game. I mm. overall, Duke played an ugly game. Uh, they yeah. struggled to score. They shot themselves in the foot with 23 turnovers. And yeah. Paige Beckers led the way for UConn with 24 points. So overall, what was key for Paige and UConn in this victory? I think just remaining steady. You know, it just seemed like Duke had such a tough time establishing a rhythm defensively and then offensively capitalizing off of those. And it's just uncharacteristic. Duke has struggled to score this season, uh, but we haven't seen it on both sides of the basketball, especially at this point in the season. And so I think UConn just remained steady during the game. They had an answer when they did a response and they were led by Paige Beckers. You know, she is doing a lot with pulling different players together. I thought that, you know, KK Arnold stepped up as a freshman. You're feeling like, Every game for UConn, there's going to be a big three, and we know two of the three every time. We know it's going to be Paige. We know it's going to be Aaliyah Edwards. The third is whether what freshman is going to step up, and they're just doing a good job of filling those gaps game to game. Yeah, you know, one thing that stood out to me was there was an interview heading into the fourth quarter with Coach Gino Oriema, and he actually admitted that his players might be tired. Mm. Overall, this game, UConn only played six players. Yeah. Three starters played all 40 minutes. Like, at what point, now that they've advanced to the Elite Eight, they're going to see USC. Like, at what point does this short roster, uh, due to injuries and perhaps fatigue, start hmm. to play? Yeah, I would say, you know, if they hadn't been playing this style the majority of the season, it'd be a different story. They have battled through injury after injury after injury this season and have maintained playing well and efficient through their roster. That's the key to, to their success is being efficient. Thankfully, they're led by one of the most efficient players in the game and Paige Beckers. And so when you're led by her, when you continue to take good shots, and then when your best player is also one of your good perimeter defenders, it's a recipe for success. I think they just have to play efficient basketball um, and stay connected and, and together. I think one of the benefits, though, of only having a short roster is you have a ton of chemistry and they play like it. They are connected on all cylinders on both sides of the basketball rods. It makes me think, is UConn back, like back back? Because yeah. UConn had made it to the Elite Eight for 16 straight years until last season where they fell short. And now they're back in the Elite Eight and they're marching on. They're going to see number one seed Southern California.